Good day and good day and welcome to yet another funky daily devotional. Today's verse of the day is John 15, 5, 8. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I remain in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do absolutely nothing. Today's verse, uh, well, verse, today's message is titled, Love, the Secret of Success. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13, 8 and the Amplified Bible. Fear of failure. It's haunted all of us at some point in our lives. Popular psychology tells us to adjust to it, but the Word of God tells us that there is a failure-proof way to live without it. It is the way of love. If you want to know real success, you must learn to be moved and motivated by love. That's how Jesus was when he was on the earth. Even when John the Baptist was senselessly, brutally murdered, and Jesus went away to be alone. He didn't deviate from the way of love. For Matthew 14, 6-14 says that even then, in the emotionally taxing time, when the people followed him and would give him no solitude, he was moved with compassion and healed their sick. I used to wonder how Jesus could just turn away from that terrible crime and not retaliate. What I didn't realize that he did retaliate. He overcame the works of Satan with compassion. He defeated hatred with love. He attacked Satan in the spirit realm by destroying the works of sickness and disease. Compassion doesn't strike at the surface of things. It goes to the root of the problem. That's why it always succeeds. But wait, you may say, I can't operate like that. I'm not Jesus. Yes, you can. Because the word of God says that his love has been shed abroad in your heart. Romans 5.5 5. And 1 John 2 verse 5 says, His love is perfected in you as you keep his word. So keep his word. His love will be perfected. Keep his word and your shalom, your peace, will come about. Your rest, your ability to sleep every night will come back. Commit to living the life of love today. Watch God turn failure into success at home, at work, and in any situation. Love never fails. Scripture reading is Matthew 4:14, 4, and we'll read that in the NIV, verse 1. At that time, Herod of Tetrarch heard the, the reports about Jesus, and he said to his attendants, This is John the Baptist. He has risen from the dead. That is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now Herod had already arrested John and bound him and put him in prison because of Herodias, his, this, his brother Philip's wife. For John had been saying to him, it is not lawful for you to have her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of the people because they considered John a prophet. Verse 6, on Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced for the guests and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, give me on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was, was distressed because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he ordered that her request be granted, and had John beheaded in prison. He actually admired John somewhat. Verse 11, his head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who carried it to her mother. John's disciples came and, and took his body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. Verse 13, Jesus feeds the 5,000. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by a boat privately to a solitary place Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. So I'm just going to read the commentations here for Matthew 14. That's my brother's name. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Mark was one of my best friends in school, actually. Herod Antipas was one of the rulers over the four districts of Palestine. His ter territory included regions of Galilee, like uh, uh, Gallery, Galilee and Perea. He was the son of Herod the Great, who ordered the killing of the babies in Bethlehem. 2.16 He heard Jesus' case before Jesus' crucifixion. Luke 23.6-12 His profile is found in Mark 6 on page 16.29 in this Bible. For more information on John the Baptist, see profile in John 1, page 1749. 
Philip, Herod's half-brother, was another of Palestine's three rulers. His territories were Itura, Ituria, Ituria, and Traconitis, 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 Traconitis. Northeast of the Sea of Galilee, Luke 3, 1, Philip's wife, Herodias, left Philip to live with Herod Antipas. John the Baptist condemned the two for living immorally. See Mark 16, 7, 17, 6, 17, sorry, and 18. Herod did not want to kill John the Baptist, and he gave the order so that he wouldn't be embarrassed in front of his guests. How easy is it to give to... Th in it to the crowd and to let ourselves be pressured into doing wrong don't get in a situation where it will be too embarrassing to do what is right determine what to determine to do what is right no matter how embarrassing or painful it might be there's a little note here it says jesus walks on the sea the miraculous feeding of the five thousand occurred on the shores of the sea of galilee near Bethsaida. jesus then went to his disciples across the lake Several hours later, they encountered a storm, and Jesus came to them walking on the water. The boat then landed in uh, Gennesaret. And I've been there. I've been to both places. Jesus sought solitude after the news of John's death. Sometimes we may need to deal with our grief alone. Jesus did not dwell on his grief, but returned to the ministry he came to do. Jesus performed some miracle, miracles as signs of his identity. He used other miracles to teach important truths. But here we read that he healed people because he had compassion on them. Jesus was and is a loving, caring, and feeling person. When you're suffering, remember that Jesus hurts with you. He has compassion on you. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you do have compassion on us, that you haven't forgotten us, that you do love us, that you are with us, God. That you do need a place to retreat to in, in times of pain and suffering. And we all go through times and pain and suffering, God. And we also need a place to retreat to. So God, help us to find that secret place in your heart, God, that we can retreat to, the secret place with the Holy Spirit, that secret place with the love of God, that secret place with Jesus, to wrap your arms around us, God, to console us, to speak to our heart about the right things to do, even when it's embarrassing, God. Help us to face any fears, any embarrassments, God. Fear does not have the power over us, but the fear of the Lord, that is one that is good. So we ask for the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And the remaining seven spirits of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to search them up. So God, we ask for the spirit of the Lord and the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding and the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the Lord to be over us now. And we accept the seven spirits, the completeness of the Holy Spirit into our heart, mind, body and soul, God, that you might direct us on a right path. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father. We just declare this to Isaiah 11, 2, 3, Father, where it is written in the scripture of the seven spirits of God, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Holy Spirit, the breath of God, and of course, the the word of God, Yeshua, Christos, manifested as man. Sit on the throne of our heart, God, and lead the way. Pour your, your blood over us, God, and break all chains and bring in um, unspeakable, un, un, indescribable peace. God. Um, we love you, Lord. We thank you so much for that. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray.